Hi, my name's Josh. I'm the events coordinator here at Lone Pine State Park in Kalispell, Montana. It's currently April. We just got a couple inches of snow, so I thought what better time than now to record a video about wilderness survival techniques in the winter. So today we're going to learn how to construct a shelter to help you survive if you ever get lost off trail when you're on a winter hike. So without further ado, let's get started. So. The first thing you're going to want to do is find a stick that's a couple feet larger than yourself. This stick is maybe two feet larger than me, so it's a good size. Then you're going to want to take this stick and you're going to lean it up against a good sturdy tree. Just like this. Once you've leaned that stick up against the tree, you're going to want to lie down underneath the stick to make sure there's enough space for yourself. Yep, this seems about the right size for me. The next thing you're going to want to do is go around and collect sticks of all shapes and sizes to construct the walls out of. Now, this is a fairly time intensive process, so I've spread it up for you. Just lean the sticks up against the structural support pole to make an A-frame type structure for your survival shelter. What we have here is a fairly well-constructed survival shelter. The walls are made entirely of sticks and they're fairly sturdy for what they are. You can get a good view of the front here and as we go around, you're gonna get a good look at the back. You can also see that A-frame shape I was talking about with the sticks leaning up upon one another. And we have the hole in the front that allows me to crawl in when I need to. Here's a view from the inside. You can see it's reasonably spacious. And back around to the front. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fill in the gaps in the walls with anything we can find. Snow, sticks, needles, pine cones, because it's winter, there's really not too much on the ground to choose from, so we're not going to be picky. We're just going to try to fill this up so wind can't get in. So here's the final product. Constructing the shelter took me a little over an hour, maybe an hour and a half, so really not too long. You can see that the walls are made mostly of needles, twigs, and snow. So snow's not only a great insulator, it also acts as a glue, so when you stuff the needles onto the wall, you can add some snow on there and that'll help the needles stick to the wall. Now you can see there's very little light coming through, which means that it's a fairly well-constructed shelter. You can see some patches, but we can fill that up with snow later on. It's also a couple degrees warmer inside the shelter than it is outside. I know you can't tell that from the video, but take my word for it. So, that's pretty much all there is to making a shelter in the winter. It's not very hard, it takes maybe an hour and a half. All you need are some branches, some twigs, some dirt, some snow really what's ever on the ground that will help you construct the frame and stuff the walls so that wind can't get in. And this is a very helpful thing to know if you're someone who likes to go hiking during the winter, and especially if you've ever been lost on the trail, you know that it can get very cold here at night, so knowing how to construct one of these could help save your life someday. So let's, uh, let's test this thing out. 